What's going on everybody? My name is Dark Knight 4225 and today we are unboxing Barrel and Blade. Uh, Barrel and Blade is going to be a new subscription that we're going to be or unboxing videos that we will be doing uh, in the further future. And I do apologize if you guys hear any background. That's my wife watching TV in the other room. But other than that, uh, yeah, let's get into the video. Alrighty, so the uh, knife we'll be unboxing with is my good old trusty M16 uh, CRKT here. So, I see that they uh, give us a uh, paper here. This is Operation 68. And the first thing, um, hold on, whoops. All right, so it looks like there's a level one box and a level two box. Apparently, I must have gotten the level one box. All right, I guess I got the level one box, guys. I thought I got in the level two, but oh well. Well, at least I know that for next time. Why is everything so foggy? Come on, focus. Here, let's uh, let's see this. There we go. So the level one box, the Victorinox Ranger Grips for $85. If you guys want to pause and read that, you can. I'll just place that right there. Alrighty. So here it is, the Victorinox Swiss Army. The Ranger Grip 61. All right, so, I'm open that up there. All righty, guys. This is interesting. I'm always used to the old, small, red, oval-shaped uh, pills. <laughs> so, all righty. So, um, first look. We have a, a knife. It's kind of oiled. As you guys can see there. And then, oh, looks like we got our famous uh, toothpick. Let's move that off to the side room. For a moment and then here we must have our tweezers yep our good old standard victorian x tweezers all right and then looks like we got a corkscrew all this is really tough to open right now so yeah we got that and then we got I'm gonna have to use my knife to. These are all just extremely tough to do. Luckily, they got those finger grooves so I can pop it. So looks like you guys got a a can opener, which is really nice. And then, well, let let, let me rephrase that. This here, whoops, this here is actually the can opener. This here is to, well, it's a can opener too. It's a, it's a different type of can opener. Um, oh, that's what I'm trying to think of. This is a bottle opener and that's a can opener. So, and then it looks like on here, it has that little uh, hole right there. Looks like that might be like wire strippers on here. And then you got the Phillips head screwdriver. And is that it? I think that's it, guys. All right. So, 
Yeah, we got the corkscrew. We got. Okay, so we got the corkscrew. We got the toothpick. We got our little tweezers. We got a can opener. We got a bottle opener with a Phillips head screwdriver. And my guess is that is a. Uh, yeah, that is a, a wire, wire stripper and a 3.9 long inch blade. So, yeah, very nice. And I did see that the, the bar in the back did come up so it won't fold on your fingers. So, how do you... Cause there's no groove here oh okay all right so this here is actually a button you can just push on it and it folds oh that's neat that's a button just for that that is very cool all righty so the next thing oh forget we don't have that one the next thing we have is the Ribex Instant Water Repellent for $10. So, let's see what that's at. Alrighty. And here it is. The Instant Water Repellent. Uh, let's see what they say. Uh, quick dry, long lasting, Aids breathability, which is always nice. And we got the instructions here, a little bit about them. Um, let's see. Doesn't mention. Let, let's. Uh... Okay, here it is. So uh, you can. I'm not sure if you guys can see that or not. So you can uh, spray on tents, rain gear, and shoes for instant protection from water, stains, and dirt. So yeah, pretty much exactly what it says. It's just a, uh, you spray it on anything and it repels water. So that's pretty cool. And it looks like it's in a can or in a spray, like a hairspray can with a, a nozzle there. So, very cool. All right, the next thing is the Tang Long Chill Compass. If you guys want to read that, you can. I can. There we go. Alrighty. That's not it. There it is. Alrighty. So, here it is. So it looks like you got a compass with a, uh, a thermometer type of, not in your mouth thermometer, just a normal temperature thermometer. Um, let's see what else. And looks like on the back here, we got our temperature and wind speed. So whatever the temperature is, most likely that's the wind speed, which is very interesting. I've never seen something like that before. And then, yeah. So it's made out of a, a pretty thick plastic, as you guys can see. And then you can tell that that's a pretty thick plastic as well. Um, so usually north is that direction. So let's see if it, um, I shake it around a bit, flip it upside down, shake it around a bit. Uh, it's, it's pretty close. That's uh, pretty close. So if I turn around. Um, like I said, I got no magnets on me, so. And it's it's pretty close. It's not perfect, but it's it's there. So, alrighty. 
yeah thermometer and five degree resolution right there alrighty on to the next item we have the Tenacious Tape Gore-Tex Fabric Patches. All right. Gore-Tex Patches. All right, here they are. The, the Gore-Tex Fabric Patches. I did get one of these in a uh, a shield box if I remember correctly and I've tried one of them and it worked um, I it didn't stick as long as I wanted it to of course I mean when, when they say uh, peel and stick I mean I'm, I'm in my brain I'm thinking permanent but uh, yeah no these these uh, these work great for like an emergency uh, they're they won't hold up for weeks on end, but they'll hold up for at least a week. So these are uh, these are very nice to have. So now I'm a little confused here because I see two more items in the box, and it's not in the level one. So I'm gonna read the level two here. Um. Let's see. Oh. Oh, I'm sorry, guys. Okay, so we do have the level two box. So they literally just did a copy and paste for each side here. Because I thought we, we got plus these as well, and we didn't. So yeah, it's a copy and paste for each side here but they added two more things here. So, all right, well, I guess we did get the level two box. So the next thing is, is the Bruton Echo Pocket Scope for $34. If you guys wanna read that, you can. All right, the Bruton Echo Pocket Scope. It's a seven by 18 monocular. Bi means two, mono means one. I'm sure most of you guys know that, but for the people out there who don't, that's what that is. Uh, high density BAK for prism glass. High contrast multi-coating. Get closer with seven times zoom. All right. Now, just to let you guys know, most of this will actually be going into a, a separate box. And what I mean by that is eventually, eventually what I'm gonna end up doing is uh, as soon as we get to 100 subscribers, I'm going to be uh, giving away three boxes of shield box, battle box, and barrel and blade and just anything anything in the boxes and I will kind of make them all even so no one gets something better in one box than the other and yeah and then when we get to a thousand subscribers they're going to be a bigger box and uh, I, I kind of want to start doing that that way you guys get some of this stuff as well so alrighty so this here feels like a uh, well obviously it's a sheath you got your uh, little loop panel. I don't know if you guys can see all of this very well. Oh yeah, I'm sitting at an angle so it's hard for me to see the screen. But yeah, so looks like you got uh, your loop here. Uh, this does feel like a like a water resistant uh, material. You got your uh, Velcro hook and loop there. Inside, this feels this feels kind of like a foamy material inside. It's kind of weird. So, 
and we got got your uh, silica gel. Do not eat that. You got your, your microfiber cloth to clean it off. And I did accidentally rip off and it just flew somewhere. Um, it was like a small like little carab carabiner that loops through here. I had just seen that. I'm not sure if you guys had seen that or not, but uh, yeah. So here is the uh, intensity level. Yes, it goes way past that point. <laughs> so, and then you yeah, have the seven by 18. That's where you would originally look through it and out. Kind of need to see if you can see my fingers. Yeah, see? Chris is the opposite direction. But yeah, um, I can't tell you if this is any good or not. Um, when I'm testing it right now, and it's not like where where you turn this to actually zoom in farther out. It's more like you have to adjust it to your to what your eye likes. And then that's about it. So it's not like binoculars where you can literally just zoom in. It's uh yeah. So um, can I see far away? Um, I I can see, I I can see, you know, decent outside. I mean, it's not bringing everything super close. It's maybe bring. It's more like a three times zoom more than a seven by how it looks. Because if I look at the object out there and and. You know, put the monocular up to my eye. It looks like it zoomed in like three to four times closer, not quite seven. But who knows? Maybe it is seven. I'm. That's just my, you know, my guess. So, alrighty. And last but not least, is the Snug Pack Enhanced Patrol Poncho for sixty nine dollars. So. Here it is. There we go. I have to zoom this out. And it said it was an OD green, which this is definitely an OD green. I'm not sure if you guys can see it because all of my bad lighting. But uh, we got the enhanced patrol poncho here. And it just tells a little bit of the history. Um, over 45 years of warmth and innovation, the Snug Pack name combines our two passions, keeping you warm and preventing comp compact products. A passion that started in 1977 when operations for lightweight sleeping bags and clothing were limited. And... The affordable kit available was bulky and heavy, and it gets it gets a little bit more into it. But uh, yeah, so uh, let's uh, let's open this up. It says "Snug Pack" right there. If you guys can see that, and why is my quality so terrible? There we go. All right. I guess I'll just leave it zoomed in. <laughs> can't see nothing. I do have a stable brace uh, setting on, which is probably making my quality way more horrible than it normally is, so I do apologize about that, guys. Alright, I'll, I'll open it up here in a minute. Well, bam <laughs> Okay. I got that. So, it, it took a little bit. It was so crammed together. Oh, that's nice. You got a little loop here and looks like some uh, breathable mesh. So if it is wet and you throw it in here, it can breathe and or drain. So we got the snug pack right there. 
I want to be very careful with this because I want to roll it up the exact way it was rolled up. So, wow, this thing is big, guys. Um, all right, let me, uh, I'll, I'll take this apart and I will show you guys here in a moment. All right, guys, so here it is. Sorry, my phone's in the way, but uh, yeah. So, uh, it's a very nice material. I'm not sure how I can <laughs> really show this to you guys. But, uh, yeah, so it's a yeah, very nice OD green material. Uh, feels like a, a uh, rip, a non-rip uh, material, uh, like tents and whatnot. Uh, inside, you do have a thin layer of that uh, rubber coating that you normally feel in tents as well. Also in uh, like dry bags, so it's very nice. Um, you may not be able to see them both on here, but there is a pocket that you can actually put your hands in. It's not very big, but you know, it works. Uh, another thing is right above there, uh, you actually do have the Velcro. It's a very long Velcro. <laughs> But you do have a Velcro um, pocket, and it is actually the whole length of what you could fit your hands in. So, and I'm assuming that's for if you need to keep anything dry and whatnot. So, yeah, and uh, that's it. That's about it. Uh, it does come with a zipper with a little V tag here. And it does come with uh, some adjustable straps to cinch down your hat. But uh, other than that, yeah, should be good. All right, back around. All right, guys, so uh, tell me what you think. So we did get the level two. Um, first off, let's, uh, let's start with the card here. I love the front intro. I like that a lot. Second, uh, I wish they would do this a little differently because I thought I was getting this plus all of this. So it was a little bit of a deceivement. But uh, I wish they, I mean, I guess keeping it separate too is kind of nice, especially when you know what you're getting. But if you don't know, like me, it, it took a bit to figure that out. So anyways, otherwise, overall, this is very nice. Uh, next thing. The Bruton uh, Monoscope, the 7x18. I like it. Um, I really feel like this is one you would get from Walmart. No offense. And yeah, I can see paying $34 at Walmart for one of these. Um, I, I've been wanting to get one, not this one exactly, I've been wanting to get a more expensive one, but this will work for now, but uh, yeah, um, I give it a 3 out of 5 only because I, I mean, it's good, but it's not that good, so, alrighty, the next thing is the Gore-Tex fabric patches and I, I like these I like these uh, the, the one time I, I had used it was when we were off working and half of my and part of my pants ripped and it was able to stitch it up just for the day uh, at first I was thinking well maybe I'll last for a long entire time and unless you actually sew it on it won't it only lasts about a week so i figured that out the hard way so but otherwise these are a great emergency repair uh for any type of fabric all right now the bruton 
compass. I feel like they have a lot of Bruton stuff in here. Um, I'll, I'll worry about that later. Um, which is, it's, it, that's fine. You know, I'm not complaining. Just, uh, I just feel like Bruton may be a, a bit cheaper company. Uh, this, I mean, it almost points north. Oh, not, now it is. Now it's pointing north. <laughs> The, the true north because I have a compass right here right right over here and um, yeah now now it is so I don't know I mean for I guess for something you know like this almost close to true north is uh, is decent for something cheap so and I'm not saying this is cheap at all I don't know the manufacturing that goes through stuff like this, but I do see these at Walmart as well. So, um, they do make them just a little different. It's not by Bruton, but it's the same material, same everything. So, I'm not, like I said, I'm not referring to cheap as they are a cheap brand. I'm not saying that at all. I'm saying cheap as in the material feels cheap. But that does not mean that they are a cheap brand. So I want to throw that out there because I don't want anyone getting upset with me saying, well, they're not cheap. They got this, that, and the other. I'm not saying that at all. It's my first time with the company. I'm just telling you guys what my first impressions are. So, alrighty. And then we had the Victoria Knox Ranger Grips for 85 bucks. Um... I mean, for for a knife like this, eighty five bucks is not that bad, um, especially for a Victorian Knox. Only because Victorian Knox is 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 a proud company um, by their multi tool, their small multi tools, which I've used a ton of, and those things still bloody last. Even the knives are dull on them, and they're the real thin you know, toothpick looking ones. Um, I'm, I can't sharpen it again, but they, they still work. So, uh, for, for pretty much just wanting the knife and then a little accessories on top of that, this is, uh, this is great. So it mostly has all, uh, can, I, I would call this the Canon knife, uh, Victorian Ox, only because it, it had like two to three different types of uh, can openers here and a knife so uh, this would be great to throw in a uh, like a backpack or like maybe your EDC guard car or truck a gear or just in a uh, out out and about uh, you know type of a way so and then last but not least, which I'm not going to try to... Oh, wait. My bad. Not last but least. Uh, <laughs> sorry, guys. We have... It's been sitting right there the whole time. Staring at me in the face. Uh, the Instant Water Repellent um, by Gearade. I have not tried the Gearade stuff, but I do like Instant Water Repellent uh, stuff. So I think this is uh, this is really nice here. So, and then last but not least, now I can say that, is the poncho. And I think that poncho is really nice. I've never had a poncho, so I can't tell you much about it. But it is, the, the first thing I thought of when I seen that was uh, the army and, you know, military. Where they would use something similar to this. Um, so anyways, yeah. Uh, thank you guys so much for watching. Uh, tell me what you guys did and did not like about all of this. Let me know down in the comments below. And yeah, thanks for watching. Like, share, and subscribe to see more videos like this and other things similar to this. And uh, I will see you guys in the next one. See ya.